Your best haircuts come from your best cuts. Your best hairstyles come from your best haircuts. And also depends on the way that you set the hair. If you want more of a spikier effect, you take the hair right around the occipital area and just comb it forward. That way, <clears throat> when you curl it, it'll fall down and it'll stand up for you more. You'll see in just a second. A lot of times when you use a lot of water, the hair is really wet and it'll sometimes dilute the product. Even though it's a water-based product like your foam wraps and mousses of your choice. Sometimes blow drying it just a little bit will take away a lot of the moisture from the product and just have your hair more product and dyed rather just water down. When you're setting the hair, it's always important to comb the hair in the direction that you want it to stack or the direction that you want it to style. Make sure everything is nice and smooth before you set the hair, before you put your client, model, etc. under the dryer. Every hair needs to be in that perfect place before you use your next strips. A lot of times when you mold it, you want to mold the hair in the direction that you want it to dry in. Because of the pores, if, you if you're molding in one direction, that's exactly where the hair is going to fall when it dries. If you want your hair to go a certain direction, mold it in that direction. Molding is always important because you got to know where you're going to end at to know where to start. And that's what haircuts and any type of hairstyle. Now if you take a look, right around her crown area, I have her hair molded towards the front because we want her hair to stand up and fall, but we want it to lock in this direction, but we're going to have more of a volume area here. So that's why she's set that way. And one thing about it, it doesn't take a whole lot of product. The product right now is so heavily concentrated. It just takes just a little bit of product and it'll go a long ways. It's cost effective. And always remember too, if you want the hair to lay like real tight around the neck, say for example, she had hair that laid around her neck this way and you wanted it to hug her neck. Just take a neck strip like so and tie it under this way. You don't choke them, you just kind of tie it to where the hair lay. And also with your, ha your hair cut and your razor. So. this particular style, I wanted to have Quan, which is my model, have her spikes more towards the back crown area of the head. So I took her hair and set her hair from the crown area and set it going forward. That way, when we pull her from under the dryer and her hair is dried and set, it's going to automatically let our spikes kind of fall towards the back and give them more of a body style, more of a body look to it. A lot of times if you mold the hair all the way down, sides and back and top, during the course of the day, or even during the course of why your client is trying to maintain their style, their spikes will tend to fall in the direction that you've already set her hair. But because we set it in the opposite direction, her hair is going to stay spiked longer. And she's going to feel a lot better because her hair, she's going to feel like her hair is just like lasting a lot longer. Then also we'll talk about the cut as well. Whenever you have a great haircut, the hairstyle is always going to be what it's designed to be. The premise of any hairstyle, always short, is that it's going to rely on the haircut when your model cannot curl her hair. This particular young lady is actually going to mold her wet. It's always important, too, to know what your end result is going to be. A lot of times, once you know what the end looks like, it's no problem creating everything else from the beginning to the end. So it's really important to have a vision with each and every style that you're going to use or create. And 
again, this is a raw video. A lot of times, uh, hairdressers and other people just take and cut out. I wanted y'all to see the things that really go on behind the scenes in creating for a photo shoot, for business cards, even for the DVD purpose. It's real important for y'all to see what's really going on. So, at this point in time, she's going to get up and go to the next side because she's not going to get ready for makeup. Yeah, so, remember this face. She's going to look different when she get her makeup on. Hey, everybody. I'm Talia. I'm the makeup artist, believe it or not. I look like this because I can't never get in and get my hair done. Treat it like the stuff, child. But this is our model quad. And my job is to create a look that is going to complete JJ's vision. And just so she has a very polished image. It's very important that you choose models that have nice skin. Because that makes a big difference in how your photographs come out. Skin care is very important. So it's a good idea to have those eyebrows already done prior to the shoot.